Hi everyone, today we want to have a quick look at some of our most popular rope splicing tools. So first up we'll start with these Selma metal splicing fids. Really good bit of kit. Uh, probably most popular we have is the 4mm, smaller and 5.5mm. With these Selma fids they've got a nice pointy end so you can get into covers to break cores out. Um, also up the inside you can insert rope as well. So put slide the rope up inside and then you can feed it through another rope's cover and out the other side nice and easily so these are available in four dif well, five different sizes but are most popular for dinghies uh, four millimeter and five and a half some other products i've got here um one of them de-splicer scissors so these are really good they've got laser cut serrated blades um, extremely popular here as soon as these come in stock we, we sell out again the advantage of de-splicer scissors is if you've ever tried to cut for a rope like vectron or dyneema with standard kitchen scissors or a knife it's really hard and the rope will fray with these specific blades you just get the dyneema nice quick snip and you're through it no hassle no messing around also got the de-splicer knife as well which does the same thing so really sharp blade comes in a little um, with a little protective case that's underneath there in the packaging but again that's a tool to cut through tougher materials such as Dyneema and Vectrum. Next up we've got um, a de-splicer range of needles so these are available individually there's four different sizes so here we've got the F10 and F15 there's also the F20 and F25 for larger rope types so these are around 17 to 20 pounds depending on which one you go for. Um, the F10 here will do zero millimeter for up to two millimeter ropes. Um, and basically you can trap the rope in the end of the loop here and pull it back through, um, make splicing easier. The F15 as well is another popular one. So this is two millimeter to four millimeter ropes. If you need a couple of these, then we recommend buying the de-splicer kit, which I've got here. So this kit here, is exactly the same thing as that slightly different handle so you can interchange them but comes in a handy pack with four all four different sizes so you can see if i open this up we can uh, if it, so i go the other way it's going to be a bit easier because the handle's up this end so open this up you've got nice bit of rope there so you can wrap it around your hand and hold on to it you've got a metal hard wearing really good grippy handle and you can see that one of these needles is attached here so these are slightly different um, here they're all taped together at the moment but you've got a couple of little hooks there so you can slot it inside the handle and interchange depending on what rope you're working with really easy to do you just simply unscrew make sure you don't lose the o-ring that's there but you can just push this out and you see how the two loops fit over the top there so you would just interchange that push it back in and screw this back up quickly and then you're good to go with whatever rope you've chosen. So there's a few of our splicing tools. Um, if you've got any questions about any of the rope splicing tools or techniques, then get in touch with the team here at Sailing Chandlery. We're always happy to help, and hopefully you can learn a new skill with some new tools.